We've already warmed the planet by about one degree Celsius. The climate crisis is upon us. According to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or the IPCC, we need to be making serious progress by 2030 by cutting our emissions by about half. In the United States, about half of our emissions come from two sectors, the electricity sector and the transportation sector. Let's say that by 2035, we wanted to have 100% clean electricity and transportation. Well, we would need to grow our grid by about a factor of two. That'll be really hard to do because the grid has taken us about 120 years to build. And we're going to have to build it all again in the next 15 years. In 2018, about one third of our electricity system came from clean energy sources like wind, solar, nuclear, and hydropower. Renewable energy is not growing fast enough. In the best year, it only grew by 1.3 percentage points of the entire grid. In order to get to 2035, when we have a clean electricity sector and a clean transportation sector, what we need to be doing is growing renewables by more than eight times. To get a sense of how much faster we need to be moving on renewables, you can think of a narwhal. Think of it pushing its tusk out of the Arctic waters. That's the kind of pace in terms of the angle of growth that we're looking at for renewables in the coming decade. And that means, for example, that if we shut down safe nuclear plants, it's going to be even harder. That tusk will get even steeper. Now, what if we invested in energy efficiency? That would allow us to power our homes and our cars with less energy. If we did that, we wouldn't have to build as much of the grid. In fact, we might only have to build 50% of the grid again by 2035. That makes it a lot easier to decarbonize. Well, right now we're moving in the wrong direction. In 2018, renewable energy deployment fell by more than half. At the federal level, some of our most important incentives for clean energy, like the investment tax credit and the production tax credit, are going away, even while we keep fossil fuel subsidies safe for big polluting companies. At the state level, a few states are leading the way, like California, Washington, Hawaii, Colorado, New Mexico, and New York. But some states like Florida, that are very sunny, only get 15% of their electricity from clean energy sources right now. And states like Ohio are rolling back their clean energy laws and instead bailing out dirty coal plants that will stay open until 2040. We all need to work together to pressure our state and federal governments to pass clean electricity standards to get us where we need to go by 2035. The good news is that doing this will create a lot of new good paying jobs and it'll also clean up our air, making it healthier for all Americans to breathe. Cleaning up the U.S. electricity system is the first linchpin globally to tackling the climate crisis. Because if we can do this in the United States, then we can share our technologies with countries around the world. And together, we can start to solve the climate crisis.